Hey everyone, so in this video we're going to demonstrate how to have an object look at and stay focused on another object even when one or both of those objects are in motion. And I can think of a couple reasons why you'd want to do this. One, you want to have a camera stay pointing and looking at another object even as that object is moving around. Another example is maybe you want to have a turret or maybe some other enemy staying pointing at the player even as the player is moving around. So by using this command, even as the player moves around, the enemy or the turret will stay pointed at the player and it will basically automatically track them. So let's take a look at how we do that. So first, just to make it easier to tell that rotation and movement is happening, we're just going to create a point of reference. So we're going to create a floor. So game object, 3D object, plane. Again, this is just meant to be a point of reference, just so it's easier to see that movement and rotation is happening. Go back to game object, 3D object, cube. This will be the object that we're going to focus on. So just grab that Y axis and move it up. That way it's not intersecting with the floor. And now we want to make this cube move. So we need to do two things. First, we need to have a rigid body attached to it. And then two, we then need to modify that rigid body using a script. So with the cube selected, go to the inspector, click on add component, physics, and then rigid body. So now we have a rigid body which will allow for a movement. Uncheck gravity or else it'll just drop through the floor. So now, as I said, we're going to modify the rigid body with a script. Right click, create, C shop, and we'll call this CubeCon, short for Cube Control. We'll click on our cube again, and we'll apply the script and add that as a component. So now we open up CubeCon. If you want, you can get rid of this remark statement. It simply explains when start is executed. And you can get rid of this remark statement. It just explains when update is executed. Those remark statements are purely for documentation and they are not actually executed. So since we want the cube to move as soon as it is spawned, as soon as it is created, let's just go to get component rigid body. Again, that's what we just added in the inspector velocity and it's a vector three. So we want to say, you can move it this however you want. I'm just going to have it move negative three along the X axis, zero along Y, zero along C, Z. So it's just going to move horizontally to the left of the screen. We'll save that. And now we're going to run it to do two things. A, just to make sure that the motion is working as anticipated, and two, to demonstrate that the camera doesn't just automatically follow, that this is indeed something you need to program the application to do. And sure enough, the cam the excuse me, the cube is indeed moving and the camera is not following. The camera is staying focused here. Okay, so far, so good. So now what we need to do is now we want the camera to look at this cube and to stay focused at this cube. So there's two things that we're going to do. We're going to make another script. And within that script, we're going to A, make reference to the cube, and then B, say, look at the cube. So right click, create, C sharp, and we'll call this CamCon, short for camera control. We'll click on our main camera. We'll take CamCon, apply it, and then we'll open it up. So again, there's two things we need to do. Well, actually, let's get rid of the remark statements again, just to make this a little bit cleaner. So now, again, we have to make a reference to that cube. So public transform, capital T, and we'll just call it uh, focus OBJ for object. And then what we're going to do is we now need to say, look at that object, because this just says it's an object. It doesn't say what you're doing with it. So this is just making a reference. You can do many different things once you've done this. In this case, we want to look at it. So in the update section, 
we're going to say transform, this time with a lower T, look at. Yes, it's actually a built-in function called look at. It's that simple. And then what are we going to look at? Well, we're going to look at the focus object. So that's simple. We're saying look at. Look at what? Well, look at this. So we go to our camera. We've applied the script, and here's focus object. Well, all we said is that there's an object that we need to be made aware of. We haven't actually declared what that object is. So just take the cube and drag and drop it there. And if I have not made any mistakes, that should now do it. So we now have the cube moving along the x-axis. We have the camera, for want of a better term, being aware of the cube by making this variable. And then we said, look at that object. And there we go. And like I said, this is purely for perspective. It's purely for point of reference. It makes it easier to see that this has moved away and that rotation is occurring. And as I mentioned, this can be moving too. So let's go back to CameraCon and, or CamCon, sorry. And we're just going to add some vertical movement just so you can see that even more complex rotations can occur. So get component. And we have not added a rigid body yet, so we'll need to do that. We added the rigid body to the cube, but not to the camera. So get component rigid body velocity. So this is spelled out exactly the same way like we did the cube. But in this case, we're going to have the camera move, say, in a vertical direction. Sorry, that is meant to be a semicolon. And I'll just leave that there for a second so you can type it out. And then we go back. So again, that script that we just modified is attached to the camera. So that's what's going to move vertically. Oops, sorry. My apologies. I said that I was going to add a rigid body, and I did not. So add component with the camera selected. Physics, rigid body, and again, we'll get rid of gravity. And there's a little error message down here telling me that I'd forgotten about the rigid body. There we go. So sorry about that. So as you can see, a much more complex rotation is happening because the camera is rotating down now to stay focused on the cube. So. Really, the last thing that we want to do now is because I said I wanted to demonstrate how it's not just the camera that can uh, look at another object, that other objects can look at each other as well. So basically, what we can do is we now can have the cube look at the camera. So we already have a script for the cube. We'll go to KubeCon. And... Here we will say, actually, we have to make the camera aware of the, um, we have to make the cube aware of the camera. So just as the camera is aware of the cube, the cube has to be aware of the camera. So public transform, and we'll call it, eh, we'll call it camera object, just so we know what we're looking at. But again, naming is arbitrary. It really doesn't mean anything. The type matters, but this is for your benefit, the programmer. And then we just, just like in the CamCon script, transform with the lower T, look at, what's it going to look at? It's going to look at the camera object. So basically you have parity between the two scripts now. You have the reference. You have motion, and you have the look at. You have the reference, you have the motion, you have the look at. So now we just need to actually say what object that's going to be. So we go to the cube, and so there's a script looking for the object that's going to be focused on. So what should happen now is we should have this continually facing us, because before it didn't. Before, the camera was moving up, and so we're looking like at the top of it. See how it's facing us now? So 
as I said, you can think of many different reasons why you would do this. One would be that it's an enemy, it's staying focused on you because it's targeting you, it's shooting at you, whatever. And so that is one of the reasons why you'd want to do that. So I think that should just about do it for this tutorial. So as you can see, it's a built-in function that works really easy. It's really simple to do. And it, it, like I said, there's different applications. Maybe you're doing it for cinematic reasons for the camera. Maybe you're doing like an, uh, an in-game cutscene, an in-engine cutscene. And so you're having the camera focusing on objects. Or again, maybe you're doing it for gameplay reasons and that an enemy is targeting you. Also, there'd be another one and say you're doing like a circle strafe. You could use, you could use um, look at to keep your character focused on the enemy. So in this case, the enemy is focusing on you. You could do the opposite. You could have your player focused on the enemy for the purposes of like a circle strafe or, or, or that type of functionality. Okay, so that should about do it. If you have any questions or you want to see more applications of this, uh, just do a like, a comment, and let me know what you'd like to see. And I hope that this has been helpful, and I hope you have a great day.